Hello, I'm Ethan Secor. I'm a graduate student working with Professor Mark Herson at Northwestern University. My research and the recent perspective article focuses on the development of carbon and post-carbon nanomaterials for printed electronics. Printed electronics is an exciting area of current research. The general vision is to leverage high throughput solution phase printing techniques for the low cost and large area fabrication of electronic devices. These can include sensors, solar cells, displays, and many more, and can enable novel applications that would impact everyday life. The development of printed electronics benefits from research into solution phase processing of high performance materials. Recently, carbon nanotubes, graphene, and related nanomaterials have attracted significant interest for this purpose. These materials exhibit desirable attributes for a range of target applications, including excellent electronic properties, chemical and environmental stability, and mechanical flexibility. Active electronic circuits require insulators, conductors, and semiconductors. Although semiconducting carbon nanotubes exhibit excellent electronic properties, they are mixed with metallic nanotubes as prepared. To enable their application as a printable semiconductor, the metallic nanotubes must be removed through either pre- or post-processing techniques. This lab has developed an effective and scalable method to isolate semiconducting single-walled carbon nanotubes, known as density gradient ultracentrifugation. Using this method, printable carbon nanotube inks have been applied as the channel material in thin film transistors, a fundamental building block of more complex circuits. The performance of these carbon nanotubes exceeds that of conventional organic semiconductors, making this a promising area of ongoing research in labs around the world. My research has primarily focused on graphene and its use for printed and flexible electronics. Here, we are interested in graphene as a thin, chemically inert, and electrically conductive material. We produce graphene from graphite by liquid phase exfoliation using a polymer to stabilize few layer graphene sheets in solution. This polymer, ethyl cellulose, allows us to achieve stable and high concentration graphene dispersions with tunable viscosity. Building on this method, we've developed a graphene ink for inkjet printing, which I will demonstrate at the end of this video. The versatility of this method allows us to move beyond inkjet printing to higher throughput methods such as gravure and screen printing, making this material more accessible for commercial applications. Moreover, the printed graphene patterns exhibit excellent electrical conductivity and mechanical flexibility, providing a valuable alternative to conventional printed conductors. While well, it's a bit larger than your desktop inkjet printer, this printer operates by a similar mechanism. With proper ink design, it will generate thousands of drops per second. It will digitally pattern these across the substrate to form complex electronic circuits. This is the ink that I'm going to use. It contains graphene, a polymer stabilizer and organic solvents with the formulation tuned for inkjet printing. The printed graphene patterns are annealed to improve their electrical conductivity. 